What is up you guys? I'm Farah and today we're reacting to ReZero episode 10 of season 2. Last episode we found out that pretty much Roswell does know about Subaru being able to return through death, pretty much. Homeboy was like, don't make any mistakes. Try not to make any mistakes next time, Subaru. If you're gonna go through hell, I'll follow you. What does that mean? What does that mean, dude? What does that mean? I'm shitting bricks. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Anyways, if you guys would like to check out my uncut reactions, make sure to go check them down below in the description to help support me and the channel. And without further ado, let's get into it. Mm. <laughs> <gasps> Fuck. Oh, look at him protecting him. So then he's just gonna accept death? Oh, Ram saved him? Alright, he's gonna redo. Reset time, baby. What the fuck? What the fuck? The sanctuary? The the barrier is what he's is that what he's trying to say? Satella, what the fuck? Is she only saying that to Subaru or is she saying that to all of them? But I remember Echidna saying you have a way of, like, seducing witches, right? <clears throat> so I do think she's only talking to him. <clears throat> I don't think that's gonna work on her, baby. What if he tells her I hate you? Would that work? Or would saying, like, I love you back work? What works with this bitch? From Rem. <laughs> Shit. Subaru, that's a terrible bad thing to say. He can't love you, bro. Why doesn't he just say, okay, I love you? She has you encapsulated. So then he won't be able to redo? Probably. That's what I said, She, because it touched her. Exactly, it's because she touched it. It's shaped like a butterfly. <gasps> oh, and she gave him a little... So the handkerchief became a blade for him to kill himself. Interesting. Yeah, he'd rather kill himself than be with you, bitch, so... It's Amelia, isn't it? What if he loves her? Learns to love her? What? Is he confusing her for Amelia there? But it's like, he it seems like he does actually like... 
Because like Echidna was like, you'll know you've known him for a very long time. Does he? Do they? Huh? Dude, am I ever gonna get answers for this? Do y'all know? Don't tell me, but do y'all know? The fuck? Literally, what the actual fuckery is this? Wait, is he gonna remember now? Is he still gonna remember everything from the shadow situation? Can he still remember what happened with Echidna? He's afraid to touch her. Because she looks so much like Satella. What if she actually is the witch? The reincarnation of the witch. And that's why the witch is like, love me, love me, love me. Because he loves Amelia and he's always like, I love you, I love you, I love you. He's afraid of her. He feels bad that he's afraid. <laughs> Habibi, he feels so bad. Habibi. <laughs> <laughs> it's so embarrassing. Aww. That little side shift? No! Buddy, well then why would you say that then? You're reminding her of it. Facts. Pride. Pride. Again! <laughs> Tell him you smell like the witch. Right now. Does him being engulfed by Satella have, like, removed the miasma or something? Okay, that sounds so counterintuitive. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but they left him. They didn't ask him to go to the the, the forest. Like, leave the sanctuary? <laughs> Ten? Is Satella in there or something? No, that's Echidna. The butterfly is Echidna, no? Oh, the memories of the other people. And he took his necklace. The fuck is this? It's a it's the massive etherite, guys. Final Fantasy 14. You know what's up? Hello? Hi, Queen. <laughs> <coughs> what does she know about it? Oh. Apostle of Greed? 
He's considered an apostle of greed. Oh my god, so they're all Echidna's followers. And she's made him an apostle? <clears throat> so they're like Beatrice. So they're like Beatrice, bind it to a contract that binds them. Okay. Okay. creating life. It's almost gluttonous. She wanted to learn how to make a soul? Okay, so she has a she has a similar way. But did you not notice that she called you an apostle? She called you an apostle of greed. Hello? So is Subaru a sufficient vessel? Sounds like the casino guy from Bungo Stray Dogs. Baby, that's such a sad life. That kind of breaks my heart. There we go, thank the Lord. She put it in you. The tea. Kidna tea. That's why. <gasps> Does that mean he can break the sanctuary? Lover? Certainly would have something to say if he knew that a relative of his was his lover. Dude, pick one. Is it Ram? Is it Echidna? Fuck off. Pick one, bro. <laughs> she just got ordered and she's just gonna keep going? Habibi, she's so cute. Finally asking questions. Oh, with the last name? Oh, it's her way of finding individuality, my baby. 
同じ質問をわしにしてくれんかまた明日以降に What does that mean? So do the trial. He's afraid of you right now. She does look quite menacing with the moonlight. She literally does look exactly like Satella. Is she Satella? Mean? <laughs> Cultural barrier. Maybe he can wake up her spirit. <sighs> it's okay, baby. He's here, though. Pinchy. <laughs> Subaru's here, though. Exactly. That's so sweet. Mm. Hell yeah, you are. You've got it, baby. No, he's your friend. Also, so sweet. So then what are you going to do about, about the bunnies coming up? You have four days to do this, baby. My baby, Petrash, I love you. Doesn't he have to be at the sanctuary to say that, though? Like, I need to know, I need to know. I think he's trying to help you right now. But I feel not right now. Bro, don't make him riled up, please. Patrush. Patrush is so cute. Yeah. Ego and pride. Was he gonna try and tell him? Was he gonna try and tell him, like, the death thing? Mm. 
He knows a lot, actually. You'd be surprised. Oh, honey. Yeah, you have no idea what he's seen, buddy. I hate when people speak on shit like he they know something. Was that convincing enough for you, Garfield? He doesn't want anybody else to know it. That was so cute. Oh wait, there's more? Oh my god, okay. Wow, we're getting spoiled. Yes. <laughs> he sure does. Baby, she's so cute. Petra, please. No. Mm. Yeah, well, guys, we need to go hurry. His ass is clenched. Hi, hi. Yeah, we'll see about that. Let's go talk to Beatrice now, though. Let's fucking get it on, bro. Come on, let's get going. Beatrice, I am the one, bro. Hello, gospel girl. What? What does that even mean? What the fuck does that mean? Her contract's ending with him? Huh? Okay, I am so confused and overwhelmed by confusion. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching today's episode with me. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.